Hi, and welcome to Lippy Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our equipment of the week, and we are going to be reviewing and talking about the wind meter. Now, the wind meter is a great tool that we use in the field, and we use it mainly for whenever there's theories of uh, a house where somebody sees like um, a ghost go by or something like that, or they say that they get brushed with like a gust of wind and, and things like that. That's what we use the wind meter for. So if somebody's in their house and they're saying, oh, I, I always feel like somebody walks by me in the, in the, the staircase and I feel a gust of wind go by. This meter would help you detect those claims. Um, we do use it on outside investigations as well, although that's very tricky. It's very important to know what your weather patterns are, what the wind is doing that day, what, what direction it's coming from, and things like that. This way you're able to come up with a base and then figure out what uh, range would be. So something like this, anything over five miles an hour from your base when you're outside, we would consider possibly paranormal. Um, but it would have to be pretty uh, significant in order for us to note that. Uh, in a house reveal though, or a house residence though, when you're at the location with this, you want to make sure that there are no drafty windows in the area. You want to make sure you do a full uh, check on the whole perimeter of the area of the house to make sure that there's no drafts because that could really set this off and, and give you false positives. So with this though, uh, anything over a mile per hour in a good condensed house that everything is in good working order, uh, you're looking for any gusts of wind up to a mile per hour in this. Uh, it's a great piece of equipment. It also does detect ambient temperature, ambient meaning the air around you, as opposed to a surface temperature thermometer, which would detect uh, the surface wall. So yeah, that's it. That is the wind meter. Let us know what you guys think of the wind meter. And if you're a paranormal group and you're watching this, let us know down below, do you use the wind meter? Uh, has listening to this made you think about possibly purchasing one and using it out in the field as well? Uh, so that's all we have for today. Thank you very much for joining us on this latest edition of Equipment of the Week. And until next time, take care, guys.